Hey there, everyone. This is now Cal playing Star Fox, and today I plan to have difficulty. Well, not plan, but like I expect to have difficulty. I remember Sector Y being a real, real thing. Sector Y, how are you? Are you not even that? You're not even giving us a mission. <laughs> just talking about amoeba because that's in space plus L and R this, this doesn't even mean anything all right so look at that see you got like oh wow it doesn't even put you in the in the in cockpit mode so we've got these little mana rays if they're red they're aggro if they're blue they're gonna leave you alone shoot them to make them leave you alone and you've got like that space squid now it's just full of smoke it can be kind of hard to tell at a distance if something is an enemy or just like a harmless animal that will become aggressive, but and the fish, the bird's got some problem here. I don't know what his deal is. Well, like, he doesn't want me to help him, so I know what to do next time. Alright, so the music is all like dreamlike, so you know if you're in a video game, that means trouble. Alright, let's fly in formation here. I call uh, the swirly... the swirly bird. Yeah, and I know, that's what Pepper just said. Those are amoebas, and oh, uh, I, I want the one up. And yeah, they can cling to you, and if they do, like, I think like, they do like gradual damage, see? That was the demo. And uh, you just do a little spin, and they cling right off. I'm not sure how all these animals can live in space, honestly. That's pretty ridiculous. The single most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. I like the little cute little noise they make, though. Quick, 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 quick! Oh, look at that, my buddy is so Yeah! Gimme, 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 gimme! I want double shot! This time I see if you did. Oh, thanks, like I didn't even realize that I needed help. Look at that majestic animal, though. Like, they look so... You know what? You want it, you can keep it. Like, you just do what you want. I'm coming, he's coming through. Is that... Oh, I think you're claiming that. Well, you're not pursuing him, so... Ah, uh, he was like five billion miles away from you, Falco. Like, how am I supposed to know that? Please tag your targets, guys. That's why we got, you know, that training. It's to avoid that kind of situation. Alright, there's more blue animals everywhere. And yet, we got, like, Bunny O'Hare here just shucking lasers all over the place. Don't harm the wildlife. It's just swimming in no air. If it's red, though, shoot it and it turns the trade. See, red means they are aggressive and are on the hunt. Blue's how they indicate- Nope! I'm afraid! I'm harmless! I'm out of here! See, the world of nature is beautiful and complex. You just crashed under and blew up! How is that benefiting you at all as a species, space animal? You don't even exist. That's a missile heading in our way. I don't know what it's doing here, but it's here and it's having a lot of fun. Just Flying through space. Not a lot of structure to this level. Like, suddenly we're at a boss, I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're... Okay, you throw missiles. You got long hands. You don't have an obvious... Yeah, you gotta shoot, like, those things on his arms. To hit his body. Like, you gotta shoot, like, the weird, like, pistols. Like, the weird growth. I believe. Oh, boy. Not obvious to do, but yeah, I think that's what you need to do. And that's where missiles come from, like, it's like weird missile hoses. What is happening here? Dang it, like, I'm trying to, but, uh, oh boy. Oh, what? Did you hear that? He went for prow. That's right, that means you're doing something good. If the boss is breathing, you're doing something good. That's what the old soup commercial used to say back in the day, and that's how I've devised all of my military strategies from. He's trying to patty cake hand me. Whoop, well, and he's doing a good job at it. Congrats, you did it. Okay, there you go. Ripped off an arm. Not sure how I did that. Like, it feels like I'm just kind of shooting vaguely at him. And I'm being rewarded for it. So, let's keep doing that. Wait. Did you grow it back? Can you grow it back? That seems like cheating. Alright, I want you to, like, ram into me. Like, you're just, you're just spinning in circles here. Pulling off those lariats like nobody's business. Okay, so maybe it's not directly the hoses you need to hit the hands? Like, that's kind of what this game is about. Like, boss fight is like, you, 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 gotta, find the, you gotta find a weakness. 
Okay, there I'm hitting like his armpit. Well, I just kind of disarm him completely there. He's glowing orange, which is good for me, because that means I'm doing good. He's just spinning around like an idiot. So you know what? Good for him. Keep on spinning. I can spin too. That's rude, buddy! You don't just ram into me. What do you, you, you think you're doing? And then I hop my horn, though. At least you respect that space, La. Wow, what a rude guy. Everyone, tell me I'm great, please. I need that ego boost. Alright, still no sweat. Still doing good. That's how I'm putting value to things. Well, this level went significantly better than I thought, but there's like a whole bunch of polygon all around us. A hundo percento! That's right! Fox at the zoo, coming on live! Polygon shapes right on the screen. It happens sometime. I wonder if there you fight another version of him, because I remember him doing that final spinning phase, but with like a spike ball at the end, and I don't know if it's because I didn't give him time for it, or if it, there's another version of him. Like, I just, I genuinely do not know.